Good morning. I'm Shamrock and I like to talk whatever I feel, what I believe, what I observe. And this morning, I'm going to talk about Cat Williams. I believe every word he says, but there's a reason. Like, all right, when I first saw Cat Williams, I was 13 years old and it was on comic view i understood the jokes that was weird because i was a child <laughs> but i tuned in every night on bt to watch comic view and then like i saw a cat and then i said like this guy is, is different like like he's really funny and his persona and his his down to earth from the very first time like I became a fan now this was like in the early 2000s if you remember comic view right fast forward things changed and I wasn't seeing it anymore <clears throat> these shows but then I saw Cat Williams in, in movies and he was equally funny like just amazing so any movie that you know he was in I was like yes I have to see this and then I started seeing other comedians but when I saw people like Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish and others and people were like <laughs> this person is funny I was like who the fuck are these people and where did they come from I have no idea what you guys are laughing at because I don't see the joke and my friends are like you're hating um, you just you're just stuck in the past and you know it's a new time and no it has nothing to do with that these fucking people are just not funny <clears throat> where did they come from so you know everybody was like you're hating blah 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 right and then, you know, I realized I started, you know, as I grew older, I was an adult now, right? So then I realized how things work in other industries like the music industry because I was a musician, an, an aspiring musician, right? And then I learned and realized that <clears throat> in music, you have to know people, you have to be a part of a certain circle, you have to be doing the most bullshit things you're not willing to do and this was on a small scale because it's not like I knew anybody in Hollywood I'm talking about just the people right in my country you have to be doing and, and shaking hands with people that are not the real deal you know and I said like imagine on a wider scale international millionaires billionaires the things you might have to do and so then P different people started to expose different things in music <coughs> and then I quickly realized that this is the same thing in, in all of these industry movie comedy music you know it's the same thing in all of these industries and and then they spoke about industry planting where you know somebody out the clicker they know somebody they know you're going to put together a team, wardrobe, um, amazing editing for videos, people to write, and everything. So that means the person, which is the product, really doesn't have any fucking talent at all. So they are going to put the person who they want in front of us, the audience, and then put them together, tell them what to do, all of that tell them how to deliver they have no ability no talent they can't write they can't sing they can't rap and we've been seeing this for years because it's like after 2000s everything went downhill so when cat was explaining if you have sense you apply the, the same sense to what he's saying because it's not different right and then we've seen people in music steal material and make millions of it so you can't say oh he's salty because because no if people steal your material and make millions of it that's just evil because then they didn't use their own they don't have no talent 
and then people are clapping and giving flowers and praises to somebody that's a fraud so that was Cat Williams' point. And if he's salty, like what people say, or bitter, he has a fucking right. He has a right to be bitter. I would have been bitter. Because you wouldn't want people stealing your material, or blackballing, cancelling, making it seem like you're shit. You wouldn't want people to do you that. You understand? I like nobody in the world believes your story. That's like a horrible position to be in, right? So I believe him because it's the same process they use in other industries they will use in our. So I believe him. Now they've said on multiple occasions that Beyonce stole material, which is true. And a lot of them do that. And it's very unfair because the real talent are the underdogs, but they don't make anything because they're not in the circle or they're not willing to do the things that they're not supposed to. <clears throat> and so these millionaires and everybody else steal from them and put up a whole facade so and then I still can't believe that people need to hear this and they still deny it. but why that people just discovering this is amazing and people need somebody like Cat Williams to expose you have no sense if you need somebody to expose these things to you because it's right in front of you and you could use your senses to see for yourself it's all fake you understand it's a whole fraudulent ring business right and so if you're about principle self-respect dignity and all of that you can't be in these industries you have to create something for yourself like what i did do i use my voice you know, I've always liked to talk and discuss things from day one. I just never developed the courage to do it on camera. And I still struggle with that. But it's becoming easier. Why? Because I'm not doing scripts. I'm not um, fake. So when you decide that you show who you are, be who you are, it becomes easier. And then you can do it right and by the way <coughs> I'm from the Caribbean I'm Shamrock for those that <laughs> that want to know who, who this girl I'm Shamrock I'm from the Caribbean from Belize and so that's where I'm from but anyways so so these are my points right I don't usually discuss um, celebrities in detail but sometimes it depends on what the viral situation is then I will unload what we Caribbean people call our two cents on the situation this is honey and vanilla but anyways so that is the case and there's like so much more I remember <coughs> When I was 19, this was years ago. This was like 16 years ago. I saw a documentary about the Illuminati. From then, I already figured, you know. But from then I knew, you know. And it, it's just amazing that a lot of people still don't know they deny. Oh, you believe this and you believe that. No, you believe. You believe the lies. It's so easy to believe and be programmed you know and when you're easily programmed you contribute to how stagnant society is right you make everything go slow because then the, the money people controls how you think and so you, you make um, you contribute to how difficult life is for others in the way how things move so others that have the knowledge of what really is happening we can't just move we have to you know move like this within a system which is very frustrating but anyways I can go on and on and on about this but Cat, William, Cat Williams isn't lying he's telling the truth and it's obvious why he's telling the truth and if you really research and examine what he's talking about you'll see you know you can get the clues um, there's evidence 
um, there's there are archives that you can look back and see and come on it's obvious that these other people that he's talking about isn't funny I mean they weren't funny to me and they still aren't funny and Steve Harvey isn't funny a little just but you can see that he's like he's not raw and real you can see that right so he wasn't funny. Cedric, he was never funny. Like, you know, as a child, I used to wonder how these people got on, some of them. Because they're like, there has to be, that that can't be the talent that was discovered out of everybody. Like, I've, I've seen people funnier in real life, right? So, my intuition tells me that. A lot of these people can't be the ultimate talent that they, that that were discovered it can't because in real life and we can see it right on the internet on TikTok, on youtube on anywhere there is like real raw talent out here but yet there are lame people that are making millions like everything is politics it's just like politics you know and government if it's all the same it's the same method it's the same method with government politics entertainment it's the same same thing it's the same methods they use and you have to really be you have to be a person that has insight to understand how everything is is related Anyways, I have a baby that's about to cry, so if you guys want, you can subscribe. Um, I usually do shorts um, just to respond. Like I, I, I don't really like to talk for long periods, but I might have to. So um, subscribe if you like, and see you next time.